What's going on YouTube? SSJ Quinny here. Today I'm going to be going over all three cells from all three different timelines that we see in Dragon Ball Z. A lot of people don't realize, including a lot of my friends in real life who like Dragon Ball Z, that there were actually three different cells from three different timelines all shown here. So basically I'm going to start from present cell and make my way to perfect cell through this video and I'm going to explain their origin and who killed them and at the very end of the video I'll leave a time on the screen here in case this is what you can Came for, I will go over all of the forms that Cell goes through as well. But right now, this is going to be more of uh, the history on each Cell here until the very end. So let's get started, shall we, with present timeline Cell. So first, before we start anything, I'm going to very, very, very briefly describe um, where Cell uh, came from, how he was created, and his purpose. So, basically, Cell was created by Dr. Jarreau's supercomputer that was hidden in his basement. What he is, he is a biological warrior that was created by a bunch of cells harvested from different warriors. So he has cells from Goku, Vegeta, so he has Saiyan cells, so he's very good at fighting, and he also gets Zenkai boost when he heals. He has cells from Piccolo, so he can regenerate, and he also has cells from Frieza and King Cold. This also makes him super durable and makes his regeneration even better than Piccolo's because as we know, Frieza can do, can uh, survive crazy attacks on Namek. He still survived after getting bisected by his own uh, Death Saucer or Destructo Disc, whatever you want to call it. He doesn't have any Atrunxus cells, but they do describe that they could have taken some, but they didn't because they already had enough Saiyan samples. So yeah, basically Cell is the ultimate warrior created and what was he created for well basically his purpose is to become perfect um he gets stronger by absorbing humans through his tail he can get quite a bit stronger actually but his goal is to become perfect and humans are not enough for him to become perfect for him to become perfect he needs to absorb android 17 and 18. so we're gonna start off with cell from the present timeline not much to say about this guy he was basically a little fetus growing in dr jerome's basement he already had all of the cells he needed to be completed or shall i say grow to full size but he wasn't going to be completed for another 24 years and he was killed by krillin Yes, Krillin killed Cell, believe it or not, when Future Trunks and Krillin went to uh, Dr. Jarreau's lab that was already destroyed by Trunks, they found a basement, and they were looking in the basement for the turn-off switches for Android 17 and 18, and they found a fetus Cell just floating there, and they already knew about Cell at this time, so they destroyed it right away. I guess you could argue that they both killed Cell, but you know what, screw it, I'm giving this one to Krillin. Ruin lives and f***ing I'm dropping the pretenses, we're aborting Cell! <laughs> Sorry, just a little caught up in gloating. I killed Cell! So yeah, that's pretty much all we need to know about present timeline Cell. He never had the chance to get any bigger than this, and he was killed by Krillin. Again, Krillin killed Cell. Can you believe it? So now we're going to talk about the Cell from Future Trunks' timeline. Shall we just call him Future Cell? So, to get through this Cell's history, I'm going to need to talk about the Cell that became Perfect Cell as well. But um, this is still not going to be about the Cell that became Perfect Cell. I just need to talk about him a little bit to get this Cell's history down. So after Perfect Cell was killed by Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the present timeline, we're going to talk about that Cell at the end of the video again. Trunks went back to his timeline and immediately killed Android 17 and 18. Now, Cell was still in the process of, you know, being created. He was still, like, in his fetus form at this time. Now, three years later, the time machine finally got enough power for Trunks to go back to the present timeline and tell everybody, hey, guys, I killed the androids. But at this time, Cell was born and ready to go, and he found out that the androids were not around anymore. So he planned to ambush Trunks before he went back to the past and kill him. And by doing that, he could take the time, mach time machine sorry, that was already set to go back to the present and just revert to an egg, jump in it, and go back and absorb the androids. But this Cell's plan failed. Well, why did his plan fail? Well, it's actually very funny to think about. See, future Cell had no idea that Trunks went to the present timeline and got stronger than the androids 
got stronger than first form cell and even got stronger than second form cell. Of course, he wasn't as strong as perfect cell, but he didn't realize that Trunks went to the past and got this strong. So when Trunks came back to the future and killed all the androids, and then three years later when future cell was born, he couldn't find the androids. But he goes, whatever, I will ambush cell or ambush Trunks before he goes back to the present timeline and then I'll revert to an egg, get in the time machine, and then I'll be fine. Then I can just go back to the past and absorb the androids, right? But this failed because, again, Trunks was many, many times stronger than him. So Trunks told him, he said, you in your perfect form, you were very, very strong, but we ended up beating you anyways. And Cell was extremely confused. He had no idea what was going on, but he just thought Trunks was bluffing. He goes, you can't even defeat the androids, let alone me. Um, he didn't even realize that Trunks killed the androids. He just thought he couldn't find them. And then so he tried to kill Trunks. And of course, because Trunks is stronger than second form Cell, he completely obliterated Future Cell, as we know. So this is what happened to Future Cell. He was killed by Trunks and his plan failed. Now let's move on to Perfect Cell. This is where things get a little bit confusing, but I will explain it to you guys and hopefully make it clear. Next, we have the cell that became perfect and killed Goku and ended up being killed by Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. As of now, we're going to call him Further Future Cell because he came from even further in the future than Future Trunks did, and I'm going to explain that to you right now. Basically, there's a timeline that we never see in Dragon Ball Z. We just hear about it, and this has nothing to do with Dragon Ball Super. This is just Dragon Ball Z. There's a timeline we know nothing about. If you look down here in the bottom, Cell says that Trunks had the time machine and he killed him and he took it back to the present timeline looking for Android 17 and 18 because Trunks already killed the androids. And Piccolo figured it out that um, Trunks was probably going back to the present timeline to tell him that he killed the androids. And um, Cell didn't even choose his timeline, he just saw that it was already pre-programmed and he pushed the button. This sort of doesn't make sense, but I'll talk about that in one minute. So this is kind of confusing, but I'm going to explain it to you guys to the best of my ability. So again, we have present cell killed by Krillin, future cell killed by Trunks, and then we have further future cell, which is killed by Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And then we also have present Trunks, which is baby Trunks and becomes kid Trunks in the Boo Saga. Then we have future Trunks, and then we have further future Trunks who we never see, we just know that he was killed by Cell. That makes sense, right? So... Here's where the further future cell came from. Remember how I told you that the future cell that Trunks killed, his plan failed, right? He tried to ambush Trunks, but Trunks knew he was coming and he got killed, correct? Makes sense. But further future cell, he was successful in ambushing Trunks and here's why. Just like the future Trunks, the further future Trunks went back to a past that we do not ever see and he told everybody about the androids and then he came back, then he went back again, and they were successful in killing Android 17 and 18. We never see this, it's just explained when uh, Piccolo gets held captive by a uh, first form cell, right? He explains all this to him. So then, when Trunks went back to his further future and then um, killed the androids himself, he waited three years, and then just like the other future Trunks, he was going to go back to the past to tell everybody and say, hey guys, guess what? I killed the androids. And, but, he got ambushed by Cell and he got killed because he never knew that um, Cell was even a thing. So he got ambushed by surprise and he ended up getting killed. Cell reverted to an egg because he couldn't fit in the time machine. I don't know why they say he couldn't fit in the time machine because he's not much bigger than Trunks was. And so yeah, he reverts to an egg, goes in the time machine and just presses the button before he turns into an egg obviously and ends up going back to the uh, present timeline that we all know and love, and then he ends up becoming successful and becoming perfect, but still gets killed by Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Does that make sense? So basically, Future Cell was unsuccessful because Trucks was already ready for him, plus he trained with uh, Vegeta for one year in the Room of Spirit and Time, so he's way too strong for Cell anyways. Further future Trunks knew nothing about Cell, so he got ambushed and killed by surprise. Plus, he wasn't as strong because he did not chain with Vegeta for one year in the Room of Spirit and Time. Again, I hope that makes sense. And all this is proven even more because we end up finding um, the time machine that further future Trunks had that was stolen by Cell in the present timeline. It's all rusted and broken, and then they end up finding that, and um, they ended up 
figuring out that um, Future Trunk still had his time machine on him, so that proves it even more. So anyways, I hope this video didn't confuse you too much. It's a very confusing topic to um, explain. Um, I, I can kind of get a jumbled up while trying to explain long things like this, but I hope this makes sense, and um, if you didn't realize that there was actually three different cells, and now you do know. Um, I'm going to do a different video. It'll be in the link below once it is completed, and that's going to be on all of the different forms of cell. This video is dragging on too long, so I don't think there's any point in me putting it in this video. I'm going to make a separate video that's going to have every single different form that Cell achieves. Along, It's going to go in along with all my other videos that I have with all forms of, you know, different people and all that stuff. So anyways, I really hope this video um, helped you out and helped you um, understand everything. And if you are even more confused, I apologize. And um, if you have any questions, you can please just comment down below and I will answer them when I get the time. I've been extremely busy, so it's been hard for me to come up with videos. I've been getting over 70 hours a week with work. But uh, yeah, that's basically where I've been. I'm all I'm doing good and everything. But um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. The next video will be all of Cell's forms and transformations. And hopefully that'll be out in the next like two, three or four days. Thank you very much for watching. SSJ Quinny out. Have a fantastic day. Boop.